Oh, there we go. I'm gonna let Lucy take over now. Come on, guys, I'll show you inside. Welcome to the Not So Long trailer. So the inspiration for this, aside from the movie, obviously, was I wanted it to feel and look like what I pictured a 1950s, like Palm Springs bungalow to look like. So we've got um, like a seafoam green, the pale blues and the salmon colored pink paired with the more wood grain type floor. So it feels very light and happy and just those iconic pastel 1950s color. Uh, we also wanted to have all of the little touches of actual 1950s pieces. So one of my favorites is actually this lamp that we found on eBay. It's a, it's a three switch light. So you can do the bottom, top, or both. So I thought that was really cute. We also got an old phone um, that we actually put our keys behind. It comes off the wall and you can store your keys when you're done with them. Like if we pull it in for the day and we're gonna go ahead and put that up. Um, let's see what other authentic things. The appliances aren't, but they've got that feel to them. So we found this at Home Depot and I think these were either Walmart or Target and then Jeff spray painted all of the appliance pieces to match. Um, and then we, we have to talk about my favorite thing. Oh, yeah. So we talked about little touches that would make the camper just really cute and quirky and kind of repurpose. So one of my requirements was I really wanted a vintage TV bar. So we knew once we kind of tore out this space, how much room that we had for a vintage TV bar, which is not much. So after looking at the antique stores and whatnot, we couldn't find one that was the right size. So Jeff built this out of some plywood and this is like a vinyl sticker that's got the wood grain on it. This piece here actually did come off of our vintage TV upstairs that we had kind of gutted and repurposed. And we found these dials on eBay as well. So those are our authentic 50s. And on the inside, we rigged up our little bar, kind of set up here, complete with our Vitamina Vegemin. And I don't like to go camping without our records and our vinyl. So wanted this to be multi-purpose use. So in there, you can put the record player and the vinyl. Pretty nice. So that was one of my favorite touches that, that Jeff did. The other thing I wanted was we love 1950s diners. One of the things that we'd look for when we go to new places are where are the cute little diners in town. So in case we can't find one, we always have one right here in our home. Um, two friends of ours, Jeff and Marsha Perkins, they are husband and wife team and they recovered and did all of the beautiful work that you see here for our diner kind of booths. Yeah, and I might add too, the benches that were in here were much, much larger. So I, it, it was taking up yeah, way too like much, here. yeah, it was taking up way too much floor space and we didn't need it. It was just the two of us. So I built new benches. I threw the old ones out, threw the old table out, built new benches, built a new table, and then uh, had them cover the benches for me. And then um, I covered the uh, the tabletop and did the uh, the work on the countertop. Uh, it's Formica. It's again, it's a Home Depot piece. They've got some retro Formica that's really cool, and we found that that worked just perfectly for us. The light. Uh, people always ask us about the light. Carrie said, "I I want a flamingo holding a light in its beak." <laughs> like, Why not? What? <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cool. So I found this in like a clearance bin at Hobby Lobby. And I said, I sent him a picture. I said, can you make this into our light? I want it to have like just like a string globe light because it's just another kind of, I don't know, it feels very Palm Springs, mid-century modern. But I wanted it to be hanging through the flamingo's mouth. So this is what we came up with. I think it's perfect. Yeah, it works. <laughs> it works. The Rock Collection, uh, if you're familiar with the movie, you know that the Rock Collection is kind of a plot point in that movie, The Long Long Trailer. Uh, Lucy's character, Tacy collects rocks, uh, much to uh, Desi or Nikki's uh, <laughs> displeasure. But these are rocks that she's collected when we've traveled. So we thought people are gonna ask us about the Rock Collection. We just knew because if, if you know the movie, that's one of the things that, you know, like I said, it's kind of iconic about that movie. 
And sure enough, when people see the trailer or see Carrie, they'll say, well, you're collecting rocks? I say, like, come on in and look at my rock shelf. <laughs> absolutely. She collects rocks. And they, they are mounted, so they're not going anywhere. Yes. Everything in here is actually mounted. Uh, people always say, my gosh, it must be a pain in the butt to try to take everything down and put it back up each time that you, you know, park for the night. Everything is pretty much mounted. Uh, we've, we've used Velcro or double-sided tape. Yeah. Nothing moves. I mean, and seriously, we've never had a problem. Yeah, even the pictures. We've got Lucy and Desi pictures and some of us recreating some of their iconic shots. They've never gone anywhere. So it's really nice that it is always set up for when we want to come in. Yeah, it, it never goes anywhere. And I wanted to add some plants. There are fake plants, but just something that made it felt more like a true living room. So we've got our true home while we're on the road. And we've added some new additions, um, courtesy of eBay. Yeah, those are awesome. I found those online recently and I had never seen those before. I know some people, when I posted about it on the Instagram, I think it was, they said, oh, I've got a set of those. So, and our lamp. Was, yeah, and our lamp, <laughs> got a new lamp. I love that lamp. 